Hi there and welcome to this new video. Now it is often said that in Linux everything is a file. And in this video I want to explore this notion, like what it means in practice that everything is a file. So what is the idea here? Well, the idea is that Linux is based on ideas developed at Bell Labs uh, with respect to the Unix and also further operating system like the Plan 9 operating system. Now, these operating systems represent the history of computer science. They have a lot of historical and practical value. The ideas, the design, and the technologies that were developed at Bell Labs were simply amazing. It was a place out of its time into the future, so to speak. And one of the many ways, one of the many ideas that they introduced in Unix was the idea of this so-called file interface. The fact that we can interface with different elements in our operating system as if they are simple files. Now, to make this idea clear, I want to bring a practical example. So lately, I've been changing the way I record my videos. Now, I used to record videos using OBS, you know, the open source program that allows you to record videos, to set up scenes. It is a great program, it is a good program, but I wanted something more optimized and more simple. I want something minimal. And I need something minimal because I want to increase my speed, my efficiency at which I make video. Now, of course, I don't want to rush the video, so the content is still long and quality based, but I want to remove all those dead ends that I encounter when I record a video. And I want to simplify the video making process by using minimal computer programs. And so I've come up with this abstraction. Now, the window that you see here, this one, this one basically, I can close it through an Emacs interface. Like look down here, you see W webcam. So if I press W, it's gonna close the webcam. Now here, if I press W again, it's gonna ask me what camera do I want? Dev video two or dev video zero? Here I select the webcam I want and it pops out the webcam with the feed, right? Now to implement this behavior, that is to expose the webcam through an Emacs based interface, I use the following wrapper. This is an Emacs Lisp function called my tool webcam toggle. It is an interactive function. And what it does basically is it checks if the webcam was previously running. And in that case, it simply closes the stream. Otherwise, when it was not running, it actually creates the stream. And to create the string, I'm using the MPV program, the MPV tool that is used to read MP3, MP4 files and files similar to that. But this time, the file that I'm using is not an MP4 file. It is rather this dev video two file, right? So for example, I can even do it manually without going through Emacs. I can just take this code in here and I can just bring it up. I can remove everything. I can remove these quotes because I don't need them. Here, I don't need these quotes. I don't need these new lines. So here I'm going to remove all the new lines. And at the end of this command, I can just say, dev video two like this i'm gonna put it into a normal shell in here i'm gonna execute this and i have my camera and of course all the other options are used to handle how big it is where it is located in the screen things about um, synchronization and things of the sort the format to use a bunch of other things that allow me to customize the user experience but basically the idea is that we have an mpv program that is able to read mp4 files and files similar and i can hook it up directly with the stream of the webcam so the webcam is offered by the operating system as just a file a file that when you try to read it you get the feed of the webcam you get the various um, the various pixel, pixels for the various frame and here of course if i just do a less video video two like this this it's just another file in the file system. The catch, of course, it is, uh, it's not this, I have to do webcam, sorry, I have to do webcam. The catch is that this is not a file like a normal file. This, this concept of file is the abstraction that is offered by Linux that dates back to Unix and the Plan 9. And so basically what's going on is that the MPV program can treat that as file, so we can do the typical operation with that file, like open, read, and things of the sort. 
However, when the kernel handles it, basically, the thing is that the kernel internally knows that that device driver is hooked to a webcam. I mean, it talks to a webcam, so it is related to a webcam, but all of this is abstracted away by the kernel. The user does not need to know. There is a good abstraction layer where the user just sees a dev video too, and everything else is handled by the kernel and the device driver of the kernel. Now, this is a practical instantiation of this concept of everything is a file. Technically speaking, not everything is strictly a file in Linux, but most things can be file and they can be accessed through files, right? Now, this thing also has interesting consequences, for example, in the context of security. Now, just to like do a little, uh, little discussion, let's say that you have a path traversal, okay? Now, a path traversal, also known as directory traversal, is a vulnerability that can be found in web application, for example, that allows a web application to read the file in the file system. Now, there is a special file system called the slash proc file system. For example, if I do a lesson slash proc, here I get a bunch of numbers, and then here I get other information. Now, this file system is actually used by the kernel to display information related to the various processes. And there is a specific folder in here, which is called self, and self instead contains all the information about the current process that is reading that file. So for example, if I read it with the shell self, I'm going to read it, the uh, information regarding this shell process. So for example, if I do CMD line, I'm going to get usr bin bash. If instead I read it, for example, with Emacs, I do CMD line, it's going to say Emacs. Because the kernel gives, when, when some file tries to access the slash proc, slash self, slash CMD line, the kernel understands who the, pro who the process is and gives to that particular process its command line. So the argument string that was used to create that specific process. And of course, here there are a lot of other information. Point is that there are a lot of information related to the state of the kernel that can be accessed through files. So if a malicious actor as a path traversal as it, and is able to access the proc file system, it can extract the critical information about the working of the process, of the system, and things of the sort, which could be dangerous. But this is all to say that in Linux, files are a powerful abstractions, and many things are handled as files. For example, the feed of a webcam. Now, personally, I'm enjoying this new setup without OBS, so it's very, it's more minimal and it is way more efficient because I can just turn it off and turn it on very, very fast without clicking on any buttons and things of the sort. I want to increase this approach even further in the future. For example, for recording right now, I'm not using OBS either, of course. I'm using FFmpeg because at the end of the day, like the idea is that you want to have small, a, a small set of utilities that does everything that you need. And with this small set of utilities, you can really automate and increase your efficiency even further. So that's, the, that's what I was doing. I just wanted to make this video to show you a little abstraction in Emacs that you might enjoy it. If you want to know more about this, you can just write in the comments and let me know what you think. For example, in this abstraction, by the way, I also played a little bit with i3, with this i3 message, because the idea is that when I spawn the webcam, i3 would give focus to the webcam, and then I would have to go with the mouse back to Emacs. But then I found out about this i3 message utility, which allows me to put focus back into Emacs. However, this is not executed directly after I start the MPV process, because it takes some time for the MPV process to actually spawn. And so I wait two seconds, and then I execute this lambda, which puts focus back into Emacs. And the effect with this is that I'm going to activate the webcam, and then the focus is going to give back to Emacs, and then I can just use the, the keyboard without touching the mouse. So that's like a, a cool, small abstraction that I've created. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any feedback, 
leave it in the comments. If you want to support my work, by the way, there is a Patreon. And if you're interested in the testing of applications, I have two courses. One is on web security and the other is on Linux privilege escalation. So if you're interested in those, links in the description. Thank you very much and to the next video.